Hey everybody, Chris Simmons here, Manstrations Gaming, Manstrations.com. Today I want to do another uh, hardware review. Uh, today I want to talk about the uh, Razer Ripsaw HD capture card. So this is the current capture card that I'm using uh, with my Xbox One and my PS4. Um, so right off the top, this bottom line, uh, it's a pretty good product. I'm pretty happy with it. There's a couple issues, but um, for the most part, particularly for the price, um, it's it's a good capture card. So as you can see on the box, just hold that up one more time. Um, it's a 1080p streaming HD. Uh, it does have 4K pass through. Um, I don't currently have a console or a PC that plays 4K games, uh, nor do I have the uh, monitor that supports 4K gaming. Um, that will change hopefully this week as I get the Xbox Series X and I am getting a new monitor. Um, so I, hopefully I'll get a chance to test the, uh, the 4K pass-through capabilities in the days to come. Um, I am also getting a new capture card, so I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, but anyway, for this capture card, um, number one, it's, uh, you know, it's on sale now. You can get it. It works with uh, PC, PS4, Xbox, the Nintendo. Um, I have tried it with all those systems. They all seem to work fine. Um, one of the main benefits of this capture card over some of the other capture cards is it's so simple to set up. It's plug and play. Um, the instructions are really easy to follow. There's not a whole lot of, um, of uh, messing around that you have to do. Uh, if you do use something like OBS or Streamlabs OBS, there's a little bit of finagle in there, but really it's it's pretty simple. Uh, you know, as simple as adding any capture device on OBS, or I use Streamlabs OBS, um, and it's really simple to just add the video capture. Uh, there is an additional step for audio that you have to do. I'm not sure if that's the case for um, other capture cards or if it's just for this capture card in particular, but it's really not too bad. You can find a tutorial online. It's really pretty simple to set up. Um, let's see. It works with uh, YouTube. It works with Twitch. It works with Facebook Gaming. Um, it does mention Mixer on the box. Obviously, Mixer is no more as of uh, you know, a couple of months ago or so. Um, so, but I assume it worked with Mixer um, in the past. Uh, price, it's, it's about $160, $159.99. Most other external capture cards um, are, are well above that. Um, Elgato, which is the capture card I just purchased, um, it's $400, so $399. So um, as, as far as price goes, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Um, the quality is good. Uh, the 1080p streams are pretty crisp. Uh, like I said, I don't know about the 4K um, 60 frames per second pass through, but um, you know, based on what how I've used the product and and what I've noticed through my use, I'd be surprised if it doesn't work that well. One of the only downsides I have to say, one of the cons to this uh, piece of hardware is um, when you use Synapses, which is the Razer um, software you use with most of their products, including the um, microphone that I'm using now. Um, sometimes it's a little finicky. It doesn't work right on boot up. Uh, sometimes you have to, sometimes you have to get out of OBS and even sometimes you have to remove the source, the video source, um, before you can get it to work again. Um, that's not necessarily an issue with Razer or with this particular capture card. Um, but it is something I've noticed, so uh, it's just something to keep in mind. Otherwise, really, I mean, it's a fantastic card. I would say, as far as um, simplicity and usefulness, um, you know, I would probably give it a good four, four and a half out of five. Um, it's definitely, if you're looking to stream, but you don't want to spend a lot of money and you need a capture card, um, it's definitely something I would consider. The one downside uh, or, or an additional downside um, is with the generations changing and more 4K gaming, you know, beginning to become the, the format of choice. Um, it doesn't have a 4K um, capture element. Um, so like just to bring up the Elgato again, you can actually save your gameplay at 4K while you're streaming at 1080p. Uh, you cannot do that with this device as far as I know. Uh, I could be wrong. If anybody happens to know that that's not the case, please let me know in the comments. Um, but as far as I can tell, it does not have a dual um, streaming and uh, saving function. Uh, I have tried to save my stream while I'm streaming, and it's been 
terrible. The frame rate's been awful. Um, really just not a, not a good idea. Um, so that is one of the downsides to this card is strictly for this capture card. It's strictly for streaming. Um, you cannot down, you know, you can't save your gameplay footage, um, at a higher resolution. Uh, but you know, if that's not an issue for you, if you don't make videos, um, you know, for YouTube after the fact, then it's not really an issue. Even if you do make videos for YouTube, you can always download your videos through Twitch or probably even Facebook. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I usually download mine off Twitch and, um, you know, they're 1080p full HD. So, uh, you know, they still look pretty good. You know, it's not 4k. I know that's the new big thing, but they still look pretty good. Um, and it's, you can always go that route. Um, but it, you know, not having that ability to, to save games in 4k, uh, especially with the new generations coming up, that is kind of a drawback. But um, otherwise, I think it's a great, it really is a great capture card. You can't really go wrong. I like Razer. I know um, I've read some different reviews online. Some people don't, you know, don't prefer Razer. They, you know, they've had problems or whatnot. But really, all my experience with Razer products have, have been pretty good. And I'm not affiliated with Razer at all. I know they have, um, you know, they have people that, you know, they, they pay to, to use their products and whatnot. Um, you know, I'm not affiliated at all. I've just, I bought the product. Try, I've been trying it for about, probably about six months now. And, um, it's just, it's a good product. So I wanted to do a review of it. And, um, so that's it pretty quick review. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave a, leave a comment at the bottom. And if you like the video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more content, more reviews, um, please hit that subscribe button. I think I'm going to go ahead and review the, uh, the siren next. Um, it's one of the one of razor smaller microphones. Um, it's a little pricey, but, but I really like it. Uh, so I think I might do that, that review next, but uh, stay tuned. I'm hoping to do an Xbox Series X um, unboxing video later this week, um, if not in, in probably about two weeks. But um, and then hopefully I'll have some some 4K gameplay once I get the Elgato um, moving forward. So appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. If you like that, once again, if you like the video, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Have a good day.